So that was proof that I made the phone call. They couldn't tell me why I hadn't received it, but they canceled the one that they originally sent me and are sending me a new one. Hopefully I should have it within the next week. I wish that I had it now, but whatever. Um, I also forgot to tell you guys about um, my blood tests. <clears throat> that was pretty eventful. Um, completely forgot that I hadn't made a video since then. So I had to get blood drawn for 36 blood tests. I weigh about 95 pounds. I'm not sure that I have enough blood in me for 36 blood tests, but even if I had had a giant breakfast and gone in, I still would have passed out. I passed out halfway through and they had me sit like, first of all, their chairs were just plastic chairs and I told them that I was going to pass out and they put like this flap over that made me feel like I was in a high chair um, so that it when I did pass out I wouldn't just fall to the floor so I'm glad they did that however the chairs are plastic and they don't recline so I couldn't request that I probably would have been less likely to pass out if I wasn't just sitting straight up um, they made they put me on on the bed in the other room and let me rest and drink a lot of water and then um, she actually pulled, I felt really bad because she pulled the lady from the like reception area to um, stick my other arm and finish off my tests. And when it got to the last little tube, um, I told her that I could feel myself uh, passing out again. And she kind of hesitated and decided to fill the last tube. And then I couldn't see for a solid minute. I still had my hearing and my wits about me, kind of. She told me to keep, talk keep talking to her and I just sat there like, uh. Um, and it was terrible because like I said, I was already sitting in this, this high chair situation and she finally remembered that I was stupid and didn't take anything with me. Um, she finally remembered that they had popsicles. Uh, so she was like, feeding me this popsicle while I'm sitting in a high chair. <laughs> I At one point I reached out to grab it and hold it myself and I was like, if I do this right now, I'm gonna drop this popsicle on the floor. So I let her feed me a popsicle while I regained consciousness uh, and sight. It was a mess. And they were really busy, apparently, uh, blood labs have busy seasons right before school starts. So fortunately I had an appointment. However, they usually have three people working and their third person wasn't there that day. So not only did they have a super busy waiting room um, and were down one person, but then they had me passing out almost twice. <laughs> they were really nice about it, but that's definitely a like, situation that you are nice to to me to my face and then you go home and tell your family you would not believe the day I had this girl passed out on us twice <laughs> so and the lady before me they were already mad because um, they told her to stay she was also prone to passing out and, and they told her to stay and that she should wait a little longer and apparently she didn't listen to them, so um, they walk out into the parking lot and the, the lady that was with her comes back in and says, I need some help right now. She just passed out. And the receptionist was like, oh, Lord. Um, so I don't know why they couldn't get people in the waiting room to help them get her back up and in her car, but she specifically asked the people working there to leave the office and try and get this lady like make sure she's okay i mean i guess it makes sense just to check her signs um and then they had to deal with me directly after that so they were having quite a day um so i i was kind of mad at my nurse for not splitting up my 36 blood tests into two sessions but I made it through it, and the next time that I have to get blood drawn, I think it's less than 10 tests. You only have to check a few things, uh, which is good, and I should be totally fine for that. I may go back to them because the uh, main phlebotomist, I barely felt her put anything in my arm. It was fantastic. The only reason that I passed out is because I lost so much blood quickly. 
I don't know, maybe they don't want to see me again. Too bad. All right, that that's all.